Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a review of my new Fawn Design bag in gray. And this is video has been a long time coming. I've been looking at the Fawn Design bags for about a year and finally have my hands on one. And I really, really, really have been enjoying this bag. I've been carrying it for about three weeks. You all know that I like to carry the bags for a little bit of time before I do a review. I want to be really honest about how I like it to pack, uh, how I like to carry it, things that I love about it, things that maybe I would change about whatever I'm using. So I've been using this bag for about three weeks and feel like I can now do uh, a pretty good review on this bag. But I am really, for the most part, enjoying this fond design. So as always, I want to go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag first, and then we'll talk about how I have it packed up on the inside. Now, I want to start off by saying that this bag has this beautiful gold hardware. These are metal zippers and metal on the side, and it's almost like a rose gold. It doesn't appear to be like a really yellow gold. It's almost like a rose gold to me. And it is really, really pretty. Another thing that may be different that you guys can see here is that Fawn Design is now actually stamped into the actual material of the bag. So there's no more tags on here. It's actually just stamped in and it looks really, really nice, really classy. I really do like that. Now this bag looks like leather. When we take it out, when I take it out with my husband, we get a lot of compliments on it. People think this is a leather bag. It is probably the best faux leather I have ever seen. It is super thick. It feels almost like leather. It feels really durable. The material, while you cannot put this bag in the washing machine, you can wipe it down. Now the inside of the bag, you'll see when we get into it, is actually made up of the exact same material that's on the outside. So you can take a damp cloth and you can wipe the entire inside and outside of the bag. And the inside material of the bag, actually you can pull it up out of the middle, which I'll do uh, once I empty the bag and show you how you can do that to actually wipe the bag. So it's pretty fantastic. Now this bag can actually be carried in three ways. It can be carried with the messenger strap as a messenger bag and you can elongate the messenger strap and you can carry this bag crossbody as your second way or it can be carried as a backpack. Now I have it as a backpack because that's how I like to carry this bag but if you do choose to use the messenger strap it is a really nice strap it's on swivel clips you might be able to get in here and see um, how this is more like a rose kind of color but it's on really nice metal hardware it's really nice and sturdy But the backpack straps, as you guys can see, so it's reinforced. You can see how it's reinforced here, sewn in. They are not removable. Now this bag does have two bottle pockets on either side of the bag. Now I pack my bags for a two-year-old, she just turned two a little bit ago, and a one-year-old who just turned one not too long ago as well. Now the one-year-old is breastfed when she does need some milk, and the two-year-old drinks out of a cup. I do not typically pack the cups in my bag. I carry them separate, so both girls do uh, drink out of a, not a sippy cup, but like a straw-type cup. So the one-year-old doesn't use a straw cup. She actually uses a, what is it called? It's one of those like 360, you know, the tipless ones. Um, but the two-year-old loves anything that has a straw-type top. But I digress. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag first. So on the front of the bag here, what you're going to see is that you have a very large slip pocket. This is one of my favorite features of the bag. You have a zipper pocket right here. You have a bottle pocket on either side. And on the back side of the bag, just in case you guys missed it when I was showing the backpack straps, there is no pocket here. So this is a flat area on the back. Now this bag, unpacked, so completely empty, weighs about three pounds. And so um, I've heard some people say that they think that the fawn bag's kind of heavy. I don't find it heavy. I'm used to carrying the Jujube bags, and as a comparison, the Jujube Be Right Back is a two pound bag unpacked. This one's about three pounds unpacked according to the Fawn Design website. So they're fairly comparable in weight. Um, I don't notice that pound difference when I carry the bag. And I actually think that this one might actually hold more than the Be Right Back just on how it packs. So this is really kind of like a Mary Poppins type bag. It holds so much. So you're gonna see that when we get going here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside bottle pockets on the sides here. In this bottle pocket, I do have a small set piece. This piece is made by Jujube. The Jujube set pieces come in a package of three. They come in a small, medium, and large. Now this is uh, the Jujube and Sanrio collaboration print, and this is Hello Sanrio. And again, this is my small set piece, and I'm using this one as a mini med kit. And uh, this is stuck, the zipper is stuck. I'm gonna pull it off the camera here. I actually had to use this for my husband to get him a Band-Aid, and I think that I zippered in a Band-Aid wrapper. When I closed it back up, there we go. So on the top here, you're gonna see that I have a baby bug stick. This is one of those Target bug sticks. It comes in a set of three. 
and I mentioned in another video that one of our neighbors, he got West Nile virus about a month and a half ago and he almost died, so I'm really careful that I carry bug stuff with us now. And then you can see I have some uh, band-aids in here, some gauze pads, some nitrile gloves, some antibacterial wipes, I have some ointment, some bas bacitracin. I am a uh, first aid and CPR instructor, so I keep a very large first aid kit actually in the car, so that's just for boo-boos on the go. Let's go ahead and go into the other bottle pocket right here. I do have some sunscreen with us. Now where we live, it is still very nice and hot and sunny, so we keep the sunscreen with us. And then it, as always, in all of my bags, I have my Honest Company hand sanitizer. And for my favorite part of the front of the bag, this big slip pocket here, I have my iPhone 6S Plus. Now this, my phone can actually fit vertically or horizontally in this pocket, it's really nice. And then I still have room to throw receipts in here to whatever kind of odds and ends the girls hand me that I just want to toss in here really quick. Now what I have found is that my phone is nice and secure in here. I don't have to worry about it slipping out. But if I was somewhere that was really crowded or I was worried that someone might reach in and be able to grab my phone, I'd just toss it into the middle of the bag. So um, I just leave it here for like if it's just me headed to the grocery store or in the car or whatever. But if I'm somewhere where it's crowded, I do put it in the main part of the bag just for safety. And then you have this nice zipper right here. And these zippers, you guys, they are very nice metal zippers. They're nice and smooth. They're very high quality. I'm very impressed with the zippers. I have a package of mints in this pocket right here. I have my favorite lip product right now, if you guys have not seen this. This is the Givenchy, and it's called, it's in the color Noir, Noir Revelateur. And I will do a separate review, probably, on this just because I love this so much. It's awesome. And I have a pen. And as always, a nice thick headband. It's my uh, one roll to hair puller and all of that. That's empty right now. Let's go ahead and move on to the main part of the bag. And this is another one of my favorite features of this bag is this nice horseshoe opening. This bag opens so big and beautiful. It is so easy to pack. Once it's open, you can see everything you have in it. There's no digging necessary. It's it's a dream to pack. It's lovely. So, nice horseshoe opening. I'm pull the top back and I'm gonna show you guys what the inside looks like. Now this is what this bag actually looks like carried out. I did not repack it for the video. This is what it looks like for us on a daily basis when we use it. So on the top, I have some snacks. My one-year-old and my two-year-old are big snackers, so when we wear the babies up in the Tulas, they don't typically ask for snacks, but as soon as their bottoms hit the strollers, they think it's time to eat. So in here, I just have a little saucy container that has uh, some goldfish crackers and some Cheerios. And then I have a snack bag, and this is an Itsy Ritzy mini size snack bag. And in here, I have some yogurt chips and some yogurt raisins. And I'll show you what it looks like now. So the top is just some grab-and-go items. I have, you guys see this all the time, this little Tolo guy. We have a ton of these Tolo animals and the Tolo people. So I almost always have one in a bag with me, if not more. And this is one of the girls' favorite toys. It had been missing for about a month. We thought we'd lost it somewhere. And we were looking for something else in the car this last weekend, and we found it underneath one of the vehicle seats. So we're super excited to have this back. All right. Now that everything loose is out of the bag, this is what the inside of the bag looks like, packed. And I'm going to start with the main compartment of the bag. So right here in the center, I have that large set piece by GGB, and again, this is the Sanrio Hello Sanrio print. And this is my diapering essentials. So in here, I do have one, two, three size 5 Honest Company diapers. Now typically we use uh, parasol diapers, but we are out of parasol diapers right now and we're waiting for our shipment and because you cannot walk into a store and buy parasol, we went to Target and we picked up some Honest Company because I still do like Honest Company and I am a sucker for hedgehogs, so they are a very cute print. In the case you guys missed it, hedgehogs, so cute. Alright, and then I do have my package of parasol wipes. And I did do a review of the Parasol products. Anybody that's interested, I will link that in the description box. I do have some baggies for the dirty diapers. I have the extra large disposable change pack. Some nitrile gloves. Some hand sanitizer wipes in case we're somewhere where I can't wash my hands after changing the babies. And a California Baby bottom cream. And that is it for my diapering essentials. 
Okay, sorry about that, guys. We had our camera die right at 10 minutes of recording, so we're back at it. I was gonna show you, we just went through my diapering essentials, and in here now, in the main part of the bag, all I have sitting free is a package of Boogie Wipes. Now, I do not usually carry Boogie Wipes with me. Both babies have been sick for the last week or so, so I went ahead and had some Boogie Wipes in there. And now, in the bottom of the bag, laying flat, I might have just done that too fast so you guys can see that. I just have, and you guys have seen this before, this is a burp cloth and it's sold as a burp cloth. God help me, whoever could use this as a burp cloth, I have no idea, your baby must not spit up very much. But this works great for us as like a little washcloth to get wet, wipe hands, wipe faces. So I use that and it washes up really good. It's not stained and I have a couple of them. So you'll see those in my bags when I do my reviews. I have one change of clothes that fits either of the girls, right here. And then I have this muzzy blanket. I actually have several muzzy blankets, but you see this one repeat in my videos only because this one's used so much. It's super nice and soft. It's the girl's favorites because it is so soft. So what I need to do is start rotating the other ones through so that when I wash them, they get nice and soft like that one is so that we're not always using the same one. All right, so now this is the inside of the bag. And back here, this pocket right here is a really large slip pocket. And it is actually one of my favorite features of the bag. It holds so much, you guys. So right here in the front, I have an old Ipsy Glam bag case. And you guys have seen this before, I'm sure, in my videos. But in here, I keep a play pack case. Sometimes I keep a couple of them. And I have a set of crayons. These haven't been used. I normally keep those twistable crayons with me, the Crayola twistable crayons, which I love because the one-year-old can't eat the twistable crayons. Um, and she is a crayon addict. She likes to eat the crayons. And they were coloring at the table, so I took them out. Now this is my booty pod. The booty pod is the plastic piece on the inside here. And this is where I keep my antibacterial wipes because for those of you who use these type of wipes, you know once you pop that little seal, it does not seal up well and I don't want that antibacterial liquid running around free in my bags. So I go ahead and I cover that booty pod with the booty pod custom case. And this is in the Jujube print, Perky Toki. And it's not necessary that you cover a booty pod with a cover. I just think it looks cute. So I do that. And then right here in that same pocket, I have a wipe pouch case. Now this is the one that holds the 20. And I have some parasol wipes in here. And I like to carry a little package of wipes free that aren't in my diapering clutch, whatever I'm using as my diapering clutch. Only because if I want to wipe hands or faces or I've got a spill to clean up, I don't want to have to be opening up my whole diapering thing just to get out some wipes. So I use that. And then I have my Petunia Pickle Bottom Stroller Clips. I do not typically hang my bag from my stroller, but I do hang the bag from shopping carts and those kind of things. So I really like those Petunia Pickle Bottom Clips. And the very last thing I have in that pocket is this teether. And actually it's a toothbrush, but we brush our girls' teeth with actual like toddler toothbrushes. But this is marketed as a toothbrush. The one-year-old is working on her molars, and so this is really nice for her to get in the back of her mouth. She's able to chew really well with it. And I like that it has a case because, you know, again, germaphobe part of me. I like to keep things nice and clean. All right, so now we're going to start talking about the inside pockets on either side. So on the right-hand pocket right here, I do have an up and up from Target brand uh, hard toothbrush. <laughs> I forgot the word. Toothbrush container full of straws. The one-year-old doesn't drink out of a straw yet, but the two-year-old does, so we keep those. And apparently I'm having word finding difficulties because I'm so tired, so I'm going to have a sip of coffee here really fast. Alright, I just told you guys the girls have been sick, so my husband and I have not been sleeping very much on top of working. This is a Muddy Buddy case, and in here I do keep my mums, and usually I have three my mums with me. I only have two right now. We went last weekend, I turned 40, my husband turned 40, and my sister turned 40 all within three weeks of each other. My sister's adopted, if you guys wonder how that happened. Um, and so we went to eat with her and I used one and I forgot to refill it. So I need to do that. Now on the left hand bottle pocket right here on this side, I do have a posh hand cream. I always have some form of lotion with me. And that's it for that pocket. Um, sometimes I have some other stuff there, but that's all I have there right now. Now, let's go ahead and turn the back this way so you guys can see. There's two slip pockets here. So what you'll notice again is you have one large slip pocket on the back, two pockets on either side, and two right here in the front. So in this front pocket, this is my restaurant essentials case. And again, this is the medium set piece in that Jujube B set. And again, this is the Hello Sanrio print. And again, restaurant essentials. 
and I just got this not too long ago, you guys, and I'm really liking it. This is the Sugar Burger set of silverware case. So the plus, or excuse me, the metal ones are the Sugar Burger, and that's for the two-year-old. And then these plastic ones fit really nice in here, too. These are those replay, and this is for the one-year-old. So the two-year-old gets to feel like she has grown-up silverware, and the one-year-old has stuff that I don't have to worry about her hurting herself with. So I really like that. And I've actually put um, those placemats, the plastic placemats in here as well, as well as some disposable bibs. And there's a lot of room. It closes up really nice. I really like it. So I'm super impressed with that sugar burger set. Then I have some disposable bibs as well in here. And then I have, oh, we went to eat, I told you guys, so we stole, not stole, but they, um, they left these on the table, so we took them with us because I thought they were fantastic and they were on the table, so we took them with us. And then I have some table toppers, and again, this is what I had in the sugar burger case for a little bit too, and they work great in there as well. So this is, you put this down, it keeps the food clean from the table and the table clean from the food. I don't have to worry about germs that way. So I really like those. And then I have some dapple wipes to clean the silverware, or a binky if we need to, if we've dropped a binky somewhere along the way. And then I have some Baby Gannix hand sanitizer wipes. I really like these to wipe the girls' hands if we don't get a chance to wipe hands before they, or wash hands before they eat. And then the only thing I have left in here is this food pouch. Sometimes I carry one, sometimes I carry two. This one keeps rotating through my videos because this is not the girls' favorite flavor. Um, <laughs> So if they have a choice, if they see a different pouch, they'll want the other one. So maybe I should uh, put a different one in there so that I can get them to start eating something else. All right, and the only thing I have left inside the bag, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's gray, just like the bag is, is a toy. Now this is that set of Tegu magnetic blocks. I do have them in the all natural color for the square set. And then this is uh, one of the, I don't remember what they call this set. What I'm, throwing them, um, but the girls really, they enjoy these, so you can see how they like snap around. And this set's rated for a year on up, so we use those, helps keep the girls busy when we're out and about. So again, I told you guys that this lining is wipeable, it's fantastic, and if you needed to wipe out the inside of the bag, all you do is like pull up the material, and you can actually pull it up so that you can wipe it. I don't know if I can do this very glamorously so you guys can see. Oh, this is the end to my lipstick. All right. So it pulls, sorry, it's not very glamorous, you guys, but it pulls all the way up. And so you can wipe whatever you need to wipe from the inside of the pockets all the way out. So again, not machine washable, but you can access every single part of this bag to get it clean if something were to spill in here. So I am super duper impressed with this bag. Love it. I love how much it holds. I am I am amazed, absolutely amazed at how much I could pack in here. And even as much as I pack, and I am an overpacker. Sorry, this is not going to be very glamorous. I'm going to stuff this back in here really quick. Um, I'm an overpacker, and I still have a ton of room. I could put jackets on the top of here. I could put shoes on the top of here. Um, the one thing I would tell you guys, and I'm going to stop fiddling with the bag here in just a second so I can talk to you about it. The only things that I would change about this bag, if I could... Um, is that I love a grab handle. So I really miss the fact that there's no grab handle here. So I would like, to, like the bag to have a grab handle. So when you're getting out of the car, you're getting out, getting the bag out of the stroller, you're you know, swinging it on your back, you have a grab handle. Um, and the other thing that I would change if I could is I would make the backpack straps removable just so that if I was using the messenger strap, I didn't have these flopping around. Now I did carry this bag one time as a messenger style and all I did is I I made the straps as short as I could so there wasn't as much hanging down and that worked pretty well for me but again if I had complaints about the bag and they're not even really complaints they're just suggestions it would be that the bag had a grab handle and that this the backpack straps were removable but I am loving this bag and look here here we go I was sent this bag by Fawn so I want you guys all to know in, you know, full disclosure, Fawn Design did send me this bag. Thank you so much, Fawn Design. I am so happy to have it. I've waited so long. I'm so happy to have it. But all the opinions that I'm giving you guys are mine and mine alone. I seriously would not have done a review on this bag for you guys if I was not impressed with it. I won't share anything with you guys on my channel that I would not want you to use or feel good about putting my name out there saying, hey, I endorse this. I think it's a great product. So for those of you who want a bag that looks like leather, that isn't leather, whether you're not into leather or you don't want to spend the money on leather, this is a great alternative. And sorry, the liner's not put all the way back in there, so it's sitting a little bit funny. But 
seriously, you guys, it is a great little bag, especially for the price points, and it holds so, so much. Like I said, I packed the two girls, and I still have room. So if anybody has any questions on their bag, on this bag, on your bag, <laughs> sorry about that. If anybody has any questions on my Fawn Design bag, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to get back to you. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.